All right, so this is for the United States Air Force. You guys have been in for a little while. Um, give me your name and rank and where you guys are stationed at. Um, I'm here in first class strikes. I'm stationed at Luke Air Force Base in Arizona. I'm here in first class monitor. I'm stationed at Bay of Farm, Arizona. Um, senior Fortson. I'm stationed in uh, Alaska at Elmendorf. Okay. And how long have you guys been in so far? I'll be doing it on two year mark. Okay. It's January. All right. Be three years in December. All right, so we got a little bit of everything. You guys have been in, just got out of tech school, uh, and you guys have been in for a little bit. Um, so a lot of people want to know, like, what the daily life in basic training is like. Can you guys give me an example of it? Like, uh, what's the, you wake up at what time? What do you guys do in the morning time? Zero fifteen. Wake up a little bit. <laughs> so wake up at zero fifteen. Go do PT in the morning time? Okay. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. So what's PT like for you guys in basic training? So PT is probably, um, so you have like alternative days. So one day you'll do like strength training, so push-ups, sit-ups, ab workouts, stuff like that. And then another day you'll be doing running, so running around the track, just trying to I guess trying to kind of find where you pace yourself, that way you do your PT tests, you're able to run it. All right, perfect. Um, what else do you guys do in basic training as far as classes go? I know basic training is a lot of classes. How's the classes for you guys? Uh, most classes you're learning about like Air Force structure. You're learning about Air Force history, uh, kind of how the Air Force works, uh, stuff like that. And then uh, towards the end, you'll kind of put all that knowledge into a test that they have test what you've learned and to see how far you've come. Okay. And how hard was the test for you guys? And I, I know you do a PT test towards the end. So you do a PT test in the beginning just to kind of see where you're sitting at. Three. Say what? Three PT tests total. Three PT tests total? Okay. Um, and the last one is the one that counts. We want to make sure you guys pass. How hard is the PT test at the end once you guys have been doing PT for the last two months? It was a lot easier. Yeah. Because you get used to it. I guess you just kind of build up the stamina. You just get used to constantly running and doing the push up sets. Okay. So, overall, how difficult was basic training for you guys? Pretty easy. Six out of five out of ten. Okay. Same. All right. So, after basic training, uh, you guys have four days where you get to see your family and all that stuff, and then you'll head to tech school. Uh, what's the daily life in tech school like? Uh, it's kind of like being in college, but you're mixed into the military as well. So, like, you're in dorms. Um, you got to walk to get food and stuff like that. But you're still marching to class. Um, class is about, what, like, eight hours a day. Um, and you get breaks and stuff like that. But, yeah. Okay. And you guys still do PT in tech school? Is it as often as you were doing it basic? It's like sometimes I'll do it like three days, one week, and then like two days the next week. So it just kind of alternates. Sometimes it depends on the school too. Yeah. Okay. And how many days a week did you do it in basic? Every day but Sunday. Every day but Sunday. All right. Um, <clears throat> once you guys are out of class in tech school, uh, it's kind of your time at that point, correct? So you guys are able to, what's the um, uniform, civilian clothes, how's that work for you guys? Uh, at least for me, it was, I think it was, there's a certain time of day, it was like a five maybe, yeah. three or five, where you could wear civilian clothes um, and you can go pretty much anywhere on base and hang out. Eventually you get, the longer you're there, you get like a more... Um, more freedom. Yeah, yeah, more freedom. You can go off base and stuff like that. Okay, so tech school is a lot less strict than, than basic training. A little, bit, a little bit more laid back. So. Okay, uh, and you guys get weekends off? Yes. All right. Uh, are you confined to the base is a big question everyone wants to know. Um, no. Depends. I mean, basic. In, in tech school, of course. Basic, yes. Tech school, somewhat. Operational, not at all. 
What do you mean by somewhat? Just during the week while you're in class? Yeah. Okay. And then operational means like once you've done with tech school, you go to your first base. A lot of people are wanting to know if you're confined to the base, like how the daily life is whenever you get to your first base after tech school and all that stuff's done. So when you get to your first base, like that's probably just like working a normal job. Um, basically, you get up every morning, go to work. Of course, you know, you're still trying to set military standards, you know, you still have to follow everything. But other than that, it's like working a regular job, just go to work, come home, blah, blah. All right. Good deal. Um... So I, we want to point out that you guys are wearing different uniforms. Uh, the Air Force is transitioning into the uniform for the two guys that are sitting here. Uh, do you guys like these uniforms? Yes. Yeah. Do you like your uniform right now? Yeah. Okay. It's not like any of them are bad. <laughs> so uh, here soon, whenever you guys go to basic training, they're going to start getting these brand new uniforms. It's a lot easier. Can you guys show how the, the rank is done. Like, take it off. Yeah. So, just like that. It's so just like the army uniform. It's just patches. Just take it on there. So. so, everything's Velcro. It's a lot easier to take off and, and wear. <clears throat> uh, do you guys have any advice for anyone that's looking to join the Air Force? Everyone always has a lot of questions. Um, is there anything that you would have liked to have known coming into the Air Force? Trying to decide on a job and what you want to do, research about it a lot, look into it. Okay. Don't just jump into something that sounds cool. All right. And were the recruiters pretty helpful with you guys as far as picking jobs, doing the whole process, how everything goes? Yes. All right. Uh, and then when you guys came into the office, can you guys explain a little bit of the process on how it goes um, getting all the way from the first time you walk in to whenever you actually leave for basic training as far as... How is MEPS? Can you kind of explain MEPS a little bit? So MEPS basically, basically when you go to MEPS, you're going to make sure like you do your drug tests. But like, they basically do like a whole physical on you, so they're checking blood to make sure you ain't got no diseases or anything like that. Um, they make sure you know that you don't have like any deformities or anything. They make sure basically your body's fit for the military. That way you can perform all. You know, the PT test and everything. So. Okay, great. And was MEPS difficult? Just a joke, <laughs> I guess. On what part? Was it actually difficult? Depends on which part. Okay, and what do you mean by that? I guess just like, I guess being in the military is entirely different way. So, I mean, it's constantly like, hey, get in here and do this. And then they're like, okay, wait, like two hours. And then you get to go back in there and do something different. It's just, so there's just a lot of waiting. Yeah. yeah. Was it physically difficult at MEPS though? The duck walk. The duck walk? I can't duck walk. All right. Uh, so you guys have been in for a little bit, like six months, all the way up to three years, um, everywhere from, and you guys went everywhere from San Antonio, Texas, all the way to Alaska, Arizona, back in North Carolina. Um, have you guys had a good experience so far? You enjoy it. Would you recommend the Air Force to your friends? Oh, yeah. Yeah? All right. I didn't make him say that. <laughs> All right. Do you guys have anything else you want to add? All right. So thank you very much.